Imagine being able to create a full movie using any animation style that you can think of. We're talking Tim Burton, South Arc, Simpsons, pixel art, anime, watercolor, pixel art, and a ton more. And by the end of this video, you're going to know how to make AI films and TV shows that would normally require a seven or even a nine figure budget. So like Kira mentioned, this workflow is going to allow you to basically create any sort of movie or TV show using any sort of animation style that you like. Now, what I really love about this workflow is that it allows you to take advantage of everything that AI has to offer while still retaining full manual control over every part of your story. And so like usual, I'm going to be using Vidbuzz IO for this workflow. If you're not familiar with Vidbuzz IO, I have a full demonstration down in the description below so that you can learn how to use this tool. So in order to create these styles, all I'm gonna do is take this image right here and I'm going to bring that into VidBuzz, drop this into the active image. And now I just want to switch this into consistency mode. We'll turn the aspect ratio to landscape and I'm gonna switch the consistency model to CDream 4. And now for the prompt, I'm just saying, turn this image into an 8-bit pixel art style, pixel grid, blocky shading. So I'll click this blue button to set it as the prompt, click generate, and let's see what we get. Okay, and so here's what we ended up with. And I would say this came out really good for a pixel style. And so that's basically all you have to do to get the style that you want. Again, you wanna make sure that this model is set on CDream 4. CDream 4 is the best for this particular thing. So I'm gonna try another one. This time I'm gonna say watercolor illustration style, soft bleeding edges, pastel tones, hand painted texture. And let's see what we get with this one. Okay, so here's what I ended up after doing that. And once again, I think this looks super awesome and very accurate to the style that I was going for. So here are the top super awesome styles that you can create with Seadream 4. So again, number one is pixel art. And then number two is our watercolor right here, which by the way, I'm also going to include the prompts that you can just put into Seadream 4 right here. So feel free to um, pause the video and take a screenshot if you want to use these prompts. Number three is of course Pixar, a very popular style. Number four, the infamous Studio Ghibli style, which was a super viral style creating in ChatGPT for a quick moment. Next is retro 90s style. For the millennials in the crowd, you might remember seeing a lot of cartoons in this style. Number six is the Lego style, because who doesn't like Legos, right? Uh, number seven is Yukioe, Japanese style. Another really cool one. Moving on to number eight, which is oil painting. Very cool. Number nine is cell shaded 3D anime, which is the type of style used in shows like Arcane. Spider-Verse, and kind of the more modern shows like that. Number 10 is comic book style. Another really cool one and maybe nostalgic for the millennials in the crowd. And moving on to number 11, which is Claymation. And honestly, this just impresses me every time with how good Sea Dream is at creating these styles. I mean, that is just spot on in terms of really capturing that claymation style. Next up, another one that is kind of similar, I guess, the Wool Slash Felt Miniatures. And once again, I mean, this is just spot on. Um, sea Dream 4 just does such a good job with this stuff. Moving on to number 13 which is the paper cutout style. And once again, it looks just about perfect here. A very clear uh, paper cutout style. And next up, we have the infamous GTA 5 style, which I guess is just kind of a cartoon style, but GTA has that sort of distinct uh, look with their art. And moving on to the next one here, which is the Simpsons. How could you create a list without including the Simpsons art style? And once again, Sea Dream did a really good job turning this image into a Simpsons art style. And if you're a fan of the Simpsons, then you might also be a fan of number 16, which is South Park style, which again, never ceases to amaze me of how good Sea Dream 4 is at capturing these uh, art styles. Super impressive. Moving on to number 17, which is the classic Disney style of animation. Of course, just another cartoon style, but obviously with that uh, distinct Disney look. 
And then 18, we have the Tim Burton style with a very nightmare before Christmas type of style right here. And finally, moving in to number 19, which is Muppets. And so the possibilities are really limitless here. And here's where things really start to get interesting. Using Vidbuzz IO, I created these images of myself and Kira, and then I converted that into an anime version of myself and also an anime version of Kira right here. And using just these two images, I can create an entire anime movie. Now, obviously you can create a movie in any style that you want, but just for the sake of demonstrating this, we're just gonna use the anime style, which by the way, if you're new here, my name's Scotty and I've been making a full-time income online since 2015, but you know who's better at making money online than me? Meet Kira. And yes, she's AI. She's popular on social media. She helps co host my YouTube channel. She's really good at singing. We create short films together. Down or we lose the mask. So look, if you want to learn how to not only make AI content, but how to actually monetize it and turn your views into money like a real business, that's exactly what we talk about in the Creator Secrets community on school. You can find the link for that down in the description below. But now back to the video. And so what I'm going to do now, right here, I'm in the Creator Secrets community on school. But right here in the classroom, I'm going to come to this module called Custom GPTs. And once I get here, I'm going to come over to this one called Done For You Story Circle. Now I can just click this link here and it's gonna bring us into the GPT. So when I click start, the first thing that it's gonna do is ask me to upload the images of my characters. So again, I'm just gonna be using these characters right here. I'll go ahead and just drag those in and submit those. And so at this point, it's going to create a short description of these characters. And it's also going to ask me what type of tone do I want this story to have? Do I want it to be grim, dark, epic, hopeful, heartwarming, tragic, whatever? Let's go ahead and create a thriller of some kind. I'll just submit thriller. And now it's going to ask me for the plot. So I can go ahead and give it an idea of what I want this story to be about. Or if I have no clue, it's going to offer me some suggestions here on what the story should be about. So here it's saying a duo must retrieve a defecting scientist from a hostile city before a rival strike team reaches him. A remote outpost goes dark and they investigate only to uncover a rapidly escalating bio threat. After a mission exposes a conspiracy inside their own organization, both operatives are marked for termination. I think that one sounds pretty cool actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in number three right here and submit that. So now it's asking me how long should this movie be? One minute, five minute, 10 minute, or 20 minutes? Just to keep it simple, I'm gonna type in one minute and submit that. Okay, and so now it's going to go ahead and write out the entire story for me, scene by scene. And at this point, it's asking me what do I want to change or edit. So at this point, I can go through and I can say change scene seven to do this or change scene you know three to do that or whatever. Once I like it, I can just type in looks good. So in this case, I'm just gonna say looks good. Submit that. So now what it's doing is every single scene that, ha that it had just previously wrote, it's going to take those scenes and it's going to turn them into actual image prompts. So these are copy and paste image prompts that I can use to create these scenes and start bringing them to life. So now coming back over here into VidBuzz, this is where the real magic starts to happen. Over here on the right, I have all of my image prompts for every scene. And then again, over here on the left, I have VidBuzz IO. So all I have to do now is take my main character, which is me right here. I'm gonna take that and drop it into the active image slot here. And then I'll take our second character, Kira, right here. And I'm gonna bring her and drop her into the reference slot down here. I'll go ahead and change the aspect ratio to landscape. And now all I have to do is come over here to my image prompts. I'm going to grab this scene one, copy that, come down and paste this into the prompts. And I'm just gonna do this one by one, taking scene two, bring that into the image prompt, paste that there and generate a few from that. Same thing, take scene number three, copy that, paste it into the prompt, submit that and generate a few from that as well. Okay, so already we're starting to get some images here. And so here's Kira and I discovering some sort of conspiracy, I'm assuming. And now 
we are clearly on the run here. But what I also like to do in this case is I'm gonna go ahead and switch the model to Nano Banana because sometimes Nano Banana can get some really good outputs for this kind of stuff as well. So here on VidBuzz, I'm just gonna come back to scene one and generate a few on Nano Banana. Scene two, same thing. Scene three, same thing. And let's see what we get with Nano Banana. Okay, and so here's some of the results from Nano Banana. And as we can see, the aesthetic is a little bit different here, but also looks really, really cool. So it's really just up to you whether you'd like to use Sea Dream 4 or Nano Banana, because each of those models can put out a slightly different aesthetic. But both of them look super awesome here. So you can use this method to generate every single scene for your movie. And then once you have all of these really cool uh, images depicting every scene, this is where the process gets even more awesome. So let's say for example, I wanted to bring this image to life and turn it into a video. Well, I can actually turn this one image into a multi-scene chase sequence. Or in fact, if we come back to the GPT right here, this is scene number three, I believe. And so during this part of the movie, they're supposed to burst into a rain slick alley as tactical vehicles screech toward the safe house. Smoke and sparks burst from the door. They get into this chase. Okay, got it. So let's bring this to life. Once again, I'm going to jump back into the school community. And this time I'm going to click on the image and video GPT. And over here, I'm going to scroll down to this one that says multi sequence. And we can see that this works both with Sora 2 and VO 3.1. So I'll go ahead and just click this button. And now we've got the GPT over here. I'm gonna click that. It's telling me to upload my image. I'll drop that in there and send that. And once again, it's asking me, what do I want to happen in this clip? So I'm gonna come back to all of the scenes right here. And again, this is scene three. What is supposed to happen? Well, this right here is what is supposed to happen. So I'm going to copy that, come back into this one. And I'm just going to paste that here and submit that. And now it's asking me if I want dialogue. If yes, I can paste it here. If no, I can type NA. Or if I want the AI to think of it for me, I can just say, write it for me. So that's what I'll do is say, write it for me and submit that. And so now it's basically creating a multi-sequence video prompt for Sora 2. And so in this case, I want to copy all of these scenes, every single scene up to right here where it says style. I'm going to copy that We'll jump back over here into VidBuzz. And again, this is the image right here that I'm trying to bring to life. So all I have to do is click this little check mark to bring that into the active image. And now I'm gonna switch into video mode and I'm gonna change the video model to Sora 2. And now all I have to do is paste in the prompt here and we've got our entire multi-scene sequence right here in the prompt. So I'll click generate and now it will start generating that Sora 2 video. I'm just gonna go ahead and click it twice so we have uh, some options here. Okay, and so after waiting for that, here's what we got. We need to vanish now. Routes are limited, pick fast. Left, industrial catwalks, we lose them there. Go, I'll cover the turn. Almost clear, keep pace. Disappearing in three, two, one. Okay, let's see the other output here. We need to vanish, now. Routes are limited, pick fast. Left, industrial catwalks, we lose them there. Go, I'll cover the turn. Almost clear, keep pace. Disappearing in three, two, one. Here was some in a vertical aspect ratio. Need to vanish, now. Routes are limited, pick fast. Left, industrial catwalks, we lose them there. Go, I'll cover the turn. Almost clear, keep pace. Disappearing in three, two, one. So not bad considering I literally did no editing, no modifications, no anything. I literally just let the AI do everything without any sort of intervention. However, I recently did a full breakdown of this workflow. So if you're really looking to get super high quality, like we're talking Netflix level animated shows, be sure to come check out this video right here to see the full breakdown of this workflow. So that's cool, but what would happen if I were to try the same scene using a different style? So let's go ahead and try this claymation I've got the claymation Kira right here, and then the claymation of myself right here. And so after regenerating the image in a claymation style, here's what it looks like. And so now I'll set this one as the active image, switch into video mode, and I'll regenerate the scene in Sora. Let's see what we get. Okay, so after waiting for that, here's what we got. We need to vanish now. Routes are limited, pick fast. Industrial catwalks, we lose them there. Go, I'll cover the turn. Almost clear, keep pace. Disappearing in three, two, one. And the next one here. 
to vanish. Now, routes are limited. Pick fast. Left, industrial catwalks. We lose them there. Go, I'll cover the turn. Almost clear, keep pace. Disappearing in three, two, one. And yeah, so overall, I think that did an awesome job uh, retaining the claymation style there. And so you can literally do this with any of the styles on this list, creating an entire movie or an entire series with any sort of art style that you like, as easy as that. But again, if you're really trying to turn your content creation into an actual business, be sure to join us in the Creator Secrets community on school. That's it for this one. See you in the next video.